problem 39a from chapter 20. In an experiment, 400 gram of aluminum with a specific heat of 900 joules per kilogram Kelvin at 100 degrees Celsius is mixed with 50 gram of water at 20 degrees Celsius with a mixture thermally isolated. Here we have four questions, but in this video, I'm going to solve only the first question. That is, what is the equilibrium temperature? Actually, I am going to make another video for part B, C and D because this part B, C and D is related with the entropy and this question is a little bit lengthy. That's the reason I'm going to make two videos for this question. So here I'm going to focus only on the first question. So what is given in the question? We have two different materials. The first one is aluminum and the second one is water. And mass of the aluminum is given as 400 grams. Likewise, the mass of the water is given as 50 grams. And both aluminum and water temperature is given, its initial temperature is given as 100 degrees Celsius for aluminum and 20 degrees Celsius for water. Likewise, the specific heat capacity value for the aluminum is 900. And likewise, the specific heat capacity of the water is, is not given in the question, but we have to take that constant value from this chart. That value is 4187. This is the specific heat capacity of the water. By using all these, we are going to find the equilibrium temperature. What is the equilibrium temperature? Actually here, we are going to mix the aluminum with the water. When you mix aluminum with water, what will happen? Because here, the aluminum initial temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, but the initial temperature of the water is 20 degrees Celsius. So what we studied in the theory, the heat energy always move from the hot body to the cold body. That means when you mix aluminum with water, what will happen? The heat energy is moving from aluminum towards water. By that, what will happen? The aluminum is going to lose the heat energy, but the water is going to gain the heat energy. But once it reaches the particular point, both temperature will, will be the same. That is nothing but the thermally equilibrium temperature. After some time, what will happen? The temperature of the water as well as the temperature of the aluminum will be the same value. That is nothing but the equilibrium temperature. That means here, the final temperature of the water and the final temperature of the aluminum will be the same value. Clear? So the first question, we are going to find the equilibrium temperature. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to write the given. So what is the mass of the aluminum? The mass of aluminum, better we can take, this is M of Al. This is 400 gram in terms of kilogram. This is 0 0.4 kilogram. And the specific heat capacity value of the aluminum, specific heat of aluminum. This is C of Al. C is the letter used for specific heat capacity. So C of aluminum is given here as 900 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And the initial temperature, the initial, the temperature of aluminum, T initial of aluminum is 100 degrees Celsius. I'm not going to convert this Celsius to Kelvin. Finally, after we find the answer for the final temperature, by the time we will convert this degree Celsius to Kelvin. So now I have tried the same information for the water. What is the mass of the water? The mass of water M of W, which is equal to 50 gram in terms of kilogram, this is 0 0.05 kilogram. And specific heat of water C of W is 4187, this is the constant value, 4187 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And the initial temperature of the water, the initial the temperature of water, T initial of water is 20 degree Celsius. 
but using these we are going to find what is the final temperature for the water and the aluminum because both water and aluminum final temperature will be the same once you mixed a thermally equilibrium state will at a time by that both will get the same temperature so here once you mix the aluminum with water the heat energy is moving from aluminum to water so by that what will happen the heat gained by the water the heat gained by the water plus heat lost by aluminum which is equal to zero i'm going to move this heat loss to the right hand side by that this equation will become heat gain by water which is equal to negative of heat lost by aluminum so here we are going to use the formula q which is equal to mc delta t both left hand side and the right hand side this, this is nothing but the heat absorption right so i am going to use this formula for the water so what you will get the mass of the water multiplied by the specific capacity of the water is a change in temperature is t final because t final is common for both aluminum and water will be the same so i don't want to mention the water here but for the initial temperature i have to mention water here which is equal to negative of the mass of the aluminum the specific capacity of the aluminum and likewise the final temperature so what is the final temperature here we don't know because the final temperature for the aluminum and the water once you mix both water and aluminum will get the same final temperature i don't want to mention the letter here the work of the water and aluminum i don't want to mention for the final temperature but for the initial temperature i have to mention aluminum clear now i am going to multiply this negative inside by that the right hand side of the equation will become the mass of the aluminum multiply the specific capacity of the aluminum so this will take the positive tf will take the negative so t initial of aluminum minus t final so left hand side as it is mass of the water the specific capacity of the water t final minus t initial of water now i am going to substitute the value here the mass of the water is 50 grams so 0.05 multiply with the specific capacity of the water is 4187 and the final temperature we don't know so i am going to write as it is but what is the initial temperature of the water the 20 degree celsius which is equal to the mass of the aluminum is 400 gram which is 0.4 multiply the specific the specific heat capacity of the aluminum is 900 multiply with t initial value what is the t initial value it is 100 minus t final now what i am going to do i am going to keep this term here and i am going to move this 0.4 multiply by 900 to the left hand side of the denominator by that what you will get 0.05 multiply with 4187 over 0.4 multiply with 900 multiply t final minus 20 which is equal to 100 minus tf right when you just multiply all these terms and divide with 0.4 we will get 0.582 multiply with t final minus 20 which is equal to 100 minus t final so i'm going to multiply this inside so this will take 0.582 multiply by tf when you just multiply this inside we will get 11.64 and right hand side 100 minus tf now what i am going to do i am going to separate this tf one side and then the number one side so what i am going to do i am going to take this minus tf to the left hand side 
and I'm going to move this minus 11.64 to the right hand side. By that, this minus 11.464 will take the positive. This minus TF will take positive value, right? So 0 0.582 TF, and this is TF means one TF, right? So plus one TF, which is equal to 100 plus this 11.64. And left hand side will get 1.582 TF, which is equal to 111.64. So TF, which is equal to 111.64 divided by 1.582. And we got the answer for the final temperature TF, which is equal to. 70.6 degrees Celsius. Now we have to add 273 for getting the answer in terms of Kelvin. Therefore, TF, which is equal to 343.6 Kelvin. So this is the answer for the question A part. And I'm going to make another video for the part B, C, and D which is related with entropy. But for that calculation for the entropy, we need the final temperature. What is this TF? This TF is the final temperature of the aluminum as well as the water. Because once you mix the aluminum with water, the heat will move from aluminum to water. But at one stage, what will happen? Both will get the same temperature. Thermally, equilibrium temperature will attain for both aluminum and water. So this is the answer. And we are going to use this value in the next video. Clear? That's it. Thank you.